Hi everyone, Courtney here with 10 tips for growing healthy, beautiful collards. Tip number one, variety. Know which variety works best for you, whether you're growing for production or for taste. The Georgia Southern is extremely heat tolerant and produces huge, beautiful leaves. The Top Bunch Collard is another prolific and productive variety. Both continue to produce a multitude of deep green leaves, harvest after harvest. The best tasting, in my opinion, is the Morris Heading Collard. This one has a mild cabbage-like flavor. The leaves are a little bit smaller, but the taste is amazing. Tip number two, timing. I live in zone 10B, so the best time for planting collards here is anywhere between August and December. Although I can start as early as July if I start them indoors in seed trays. So do your research and find out when the best time for growing collards is in your zone. Tip number three, seed sowing method. You can direct sow collards, but make sure your soil is between 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I recommend covering with netting when direct sowing to protect your seedlings from birds and other pests. You can also start collards indoors in seed trays four to six weeks before transplanting out into your garden. This will also give you about a month's head start when you plant them out. Tip number four, spacing. Collards grow tall and wide, so try to space them about one to two feet apart. I'm using the square foot garden method in this bed, and my collards have more than enough room to spread out, and they're not competing for nutrients. Tip number five location. Collars need at least six hours of full sun. Again, I live in zone 10B and it gets super hot here in South Florida. This sun can be brutal. I find that the Georgia collard is the most heat tolerant of them all. This collard has survived almost 100 degree days. My collards are in the sunniest part of my garden, which is a mistake I will not be making next season. This area of my garden gets blasted with sun basically all day, which causes me to have to water more to keep them from drying out and suffering. So next season, I'll be growing my collards on the other side of my garden that gets partial shade. Tip number six, fertilize. If you want your collards to maintain that beautiful green and grow bigger and healthier and stronger, I would suggest fertilizing every two weeks with a fish emulsion. You can also use a granular fertilizer along with bone meal or blood meal at least once a month. Tip number seven, pest control. Collards are prone to things like white flies, cabbage moth, and aphids. Every once in a while, don't be afraid to spray those leaves off to get rid of any lingering pests. Make sure you get the undersides of the leaves because that's where those little buggers like to hide. As a preventative, you can occasionally spray with a neem oil and soap spray, or you can simply cover with netting. These were covered for as long as I could cover them, but now they're so tall, I don't cover them anymore. They're too tall for the netting that I had. And on to number eight, companion planting. I companion plant different things near my collards for specific reasons. One, to keep pests away. Two, to improve the flavor and three, to improve soil quality. Things like chamomile and mint improve the flavor of your collards. Herbs like thyme, rosemary, and oregano keep the cabbage moth away. Planting things like onions, garlic, and even marjoram right under your collard greens keeps the soil nice and loose. Tip number nine, pick those bottom leaves. This promotes more leaf growth. Collards are a cut and come again kind of crop. As you can see, I have picked off collards from every single node here. My family and I have eaten many meals from these few collards that I have here alone. And number 10, last but definitely not least and probably the most important is to mulch. Make sure you mulch your collards. 
I used the dried leaves from around my backyard as mulch. I did a video way back when showing you guys how I used the dried leaves around my uh, backyard as mulch. Make sure you mulch those collards. This prevents them from drying out and gives them a longer life. And those are your 10 tips for growing healthy, happy collards. I hope you found all of my tips useful. Until next time, happy growing gardeners.